How do we lose 10 pounds in one week, you may ask? I mean, come on, people are constantly wanting to go on like bikini diets and everything. And my friend was just like, Sarah, look at this diet I found online. You can lose 10 pounds in one week. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like, let's look at it. So I just wanna check it out with you guys. It's called the Military Diet Plan. So here it is. I printed it out just because why not? And we are going to go over this. And I'll tell you my thoughts on it when I'm done. Day one, breakfast is a half a grapefruit, not, not a whole one, half. One slice of toast, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and a cup of coffee or tea with caffeine. Gotta have a caffeine because, I mean, come on. <laughs> what else is gonna get you through the day? Okay, lunch. No snacks in between, by the way. Lunch, a half a cup of tuna. Not a whole cup, not a can of the tuna, half a cup. One slice of toast. And again, one cup of coffee or tea with caffeine, they specify it. Dinner, three ounces of any type of meat. Wow, they're getting lenient on us now. One cup of green beans, a half a banana, not a whole one, again, half. One small apple, and then one cup of vanilla ice cream. That one was a plot twist. Didn't see that one coming. Day two. And then we'll just kind of like go over it really quickly. Day two, breakfast, one egg, one piece of toast, a half a banana again. Lunch, a cup of cottage cheese, one egg, and five saltine crackers. And dinner, two hot dogs, no bun, one cup of broccoli, half a cup of carrots, a half a banana, again, not a whole, and a half a cup of ice cream. Ooh, they're cutting back the ice cream on us. Day three, breakfast, five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and a small apple, not a large. Lunch, one egg, and one piece of toast. That's it, no, just, just one egg, one piece of toast. They're really liking the bread here. Dinner is one cup of tuna, ooh, not a half a cup, a whole cup of tuna, a half a banana, and one cup of ice cream. Ooh, we got the one cup of ice cream back again. So that is the three-day military diet. Now, if you couldn't tell by my tone of voice, I don't really agree with this. Like, like, my friend was like, oh, like this sounds like really cool, Sarah, like check it out, like let me know your thoughts on it. And this is why I hate when people on the internet try to propose things like this as healthy and a good way to lose weight. Like on their website, on the militarydiet.com or whatever it is, they say like, oh, people spend millions of dollars on weight loss supplements and here, this is a diet completely for free. And if you're, if this is like a weight loss for a short amount of time, so if you're needing to fit into that wedding dress or if your ex is coming into town, yeah, it says that on the website, then this is a diet for you. And then they're like, and if you keep this diet up for a month, you can lose 30 pounds. Wow. No, seriously though, guys, like be careful what you trust on the internet. This, this is called starvation and this is called depriving your body of so many nutrients and if you ever see some kind of plan out there that says like lose five pounds in three days or 10 pounds in a week, like chances are it's gonna be just a starvation diet and it's not healthy for you. So stay away from diets, don't do the D. So here is five quick tips to leave you guys off with, with how you can truly feel more clean inside and possibly lose some weight over time if you are needing it. Number one, start your day with a warm glass of lemon water because that can be so, so cleansing to your system and it's really great to start your day off with water anyways. A lot of us are dehydrated when you wake up, so just try to start your day off with a full glass or two of water and lemon juice is extra cleansing, so try to add that to it. Number two, 
be active. At least get in 30 minutes of exercise in your day, whether that just be going on a walk, whether that be mowing your lawn that you have to do anyways, or even going to the gym and just doing some weight work. Like 30 minutes every day, that's all it takes to just start living a more active lifestyle. Number three, cut out all the fake sugar, regular sugar, and processed foods. Okay, not all of it, but you get the gist of it. Just try to eat at least 80% raw and whole foods, and then that 20% can be for whatever kind of foods you love most. Me, it's ice cream. Number four, eat some breakfast because a lot of times you tend to maybe overeat at night or you have a lot of food the day before and you think, I shouldn't be eating breakfast right now, I'm just gonna starve myself. Unfortunately, that usually leads to eating more later in the day. So just try to get something even little, and like, I'm not a big breakfast person myself, but I always have like some fruit, or like an, a like banana and peanut butter, apple and peanut butter, or something like that. Mix protein powder into my coffee, vegan, because that stirs in the best. That just gets you a little something in your system in the very beginning of the morning to start your metabolism going. And number five, don't get discouraged. Have a bad day, it's okay. The next day, start your day off active, start it with a glass of warm lemon water, and you know, be okay with mess ups and just start eating clean that day. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. No more let's lose 10 pounds in one week diets, okay guys? And I'll see you next time here on Fresh and Healthy YouTube. Bye guys.